Chess friends, Chess.com has released a brand new chess bot called Archer Queen with an LO rating of 29,000, today I will show you the game between us that will blow your mind. Your present circumstances don't determine where you can go, they merely determine where you start, let's get started, I started the game with e4, we have Sicilian defense and here Archer Queen doesn't play standard Sicilian move or Dragon Sicilian, instead she goes for old Sicilian so I continued the opening, I didn't play the open Sicilian with d4, e6 queen e2 queen c7 c3, I want to strike in the center with d4 castle and there is an amazing knight strategy starts with knight d2 knight f1. It can place the knight on either the king or the center if desirable, ok we have knight f6 castle knight g4, chess players generally avoid moving a piece more than twice in the opening, but in this case, the queen believed she could defeat me because I was the only opponent she deemed worthy, she played a6 and now her intention is clear that she want to play bishop fumetto, bishop e6 to make queen bishop, battery to target my h2 pawn. Maybe she will push the h pawn to open up the file if I target to the knight, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it, so we have h3 to question the knight, where he want to go, archer queen replied with h5 to sacrifice the knight, if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, then after h takes g4 the queen h2 square will be weak, best move for white to play knight d2, then g5 will come, black's tactic is to play g takes f3 then after knight takes f3. Play g4 to target the knight again, therefore the knight can't move because queen h2 will be a checkmate, you have to play g3 to block the diagonal, takes takes g4, knight h4 will be played in the game, the position looks like white has some kingside advantage, but after developing the bishop black will castle on the long side, engaging the rooks on the g-file, there will be a hypothetical threat to sacrifice the bishop on g3. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, so back to the position, we have rook d1 first, bishop b7 knight a3 to play d4 and involve the knight on c4 square, queen played castle and look at this mountain rider structure, how can I break the structure with my pawns? Pushing the pawn is a good idea after moving the knight, also d4 is a good strategy to open up the file, it can open up the c file too which is why I pushed the d pawn, the c file can be open in the game so the archer queen responded with d5, e5 bishop e7, taking the knight isn't the best move because it's not just about the queen h2 check, black will push his king army to open up the gh files. If you look at what you have in life, you will always have more, if you look at what you don't have in life, you will never have enough, so bishop a4 to play b4, sacrificing one pawn to open up the b-file, so she played b5, here I thought myself, I am? Stockfish, the chess god of the universe and all over the planets, and she is just a 29k LO rated bot, I sacrificed, the bishop, to get the knight on d5, the knight gets many key squares in the black position, queen d7 a4 to play a5 a6, and don't even think about capturing the knight because it's beyond the comparative steps of human thought, so king g8 b4, pawn exchange is not a good option as it will help me to use my rooks in open files, so she closed the position with c4, I finally take the knight. Knight back to h2, rook h5 to make a rook battery on this h file, double rooks are so powerful in an open file so after knight takes pawn rook h8 f3 she played bishop h4, she want to play bishop h3 then rook h1 checkmate, so bishop f4 to protect it, knight e7 to eliminate the bishop which is why I played my 19 million LO rated move, knight f6, sacrificing the knight, the rook have no square to go, that means that you forced to play g takes f6, take to target the knight with a discover check, king a8 f takes e7, look at the black position, I exposed the king which the first do in my every games, my subscriber Magnus Carlsen has learned a lot from me, making chess strategy, pass pawns and so on, on the other side, archer queen have bishop g3 move to checkmate me in h1 square, she can also play queen takes pawn to support the bishop and eliminate my bishop. Do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail, here if play an ordinary move, for example bishop f6 to play e5, then we will play knight c7 check, the king can't go there because of the fork, so after king a7 b5, b6 will kill your king as he has no square to run on, so back to the position, archer queen played queen f6 to target the bishop, 
Knight c7 check and again, the king can't go there because there is a discover attack with knight takes pawn. So king a7 bishop d6, I want to push my d-pawn sincerely, maybe a6 to capture the bishop to fall black in a trap, she played bishop a6 to defend her b5 square, you may ask that b5 still can be possible in the game, but there is a trap with queen g6, sacrificing the bishop, here comes bishop g3 to mate in one move, bishop takes g3 queen takes g3, it will be a checkmate in 10 moves. Don't waste your time in anger, regrets, worries, and grudges, life is too short to be unhappy, so back to the position, I captured the bishop, queen g6 to support the g3 square for the bishop, so g4, she counted it with f4, I played bishop b7 check, capturing the bishop for two pieces is not the best move, because white can prevent his kingside attacks by simply sliding the king, queen will protect his king, it's better to keep the rook in this h file. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.